The NES and SNES are two of Nintendo's best and oldest consoles. They both have a great library of games. In fact, a lot of Nintendo's core series got their start here. Whether you're young like me and weren't around for these consoles, or you're less young and these were your original systems, you might have the urge to go back and play them. The problem with that is it's getting less and less common to have anything other than HDMI ports on a new TV. In Newsflash, neither of these consoles have HDMI ports. And even if you did mod them to have an HDMI port, you still can't go duck hunting on modern TVs. So today, I hopefully have a product to fix my problems. Let's review the old school classic 2 HD 720p twin video game system gray slash purple compatible with SNES slash NES, Nintendo and Super Nintendo Nintendo cartridges. That's that that's the real title. Don't tell anybody. I don't have a license for this. The biggest reason why I wanted to try this out is because after I made my own arcade machine, I wanted to clear out some space. But I didn't think about that till after I built it. And since I'm taking up a lot of space in my parents' house, I needed to get rid of some of my own stuff. As much as I love having a CRT, it takes up a lot of space. And with how beautiful my LG C1 OLED is, the CRT is the one that had to go. The only problem with that is my favorite NES game, Duck Hunt, does not work on modern TVs. And I'm serious when I say that Duck Hunt was the sole reason I was not willing to give up my CRT. If you want to see what the rest of my room looks like, you can join these lovely folks here who have already seen my room tour. It's exclusive to members and patrons only. Sorry, but you can hit that join button down below to access all of the current and future members only content. So that's where the Classic 2 and the Hyperkin adapter come in. Originally, I was going to get this other Hyperkin multi-console thing, but one, apparently it's all emulation and it doesn't work that well. And two, it doesn't even work with Hyperkin's own Duck Hunt adapter. Why would you not make sure that two of your products that should work together actually work together. Thankfully, it works with the Classic 2. So how does all this work? You take your adapter and connect it to your Mario slash Duck Hunt cart and plug it into your console. Why did I specify the Mario slash Duck Hunt cart? Because that's the only one it works on. Not the three game one and not the solo Duck Hunt one. This Hypercan adapter is really starting to sound top of the line, isn't it? But thankfully that's it, right? Nope. Time to mess around with some settings. The reason we use this adapter is because we need to mod the game to have a bit of delay. One of the reasons why Duck Hunt doesn't work on modern TVs is because of the delay that comes with them. I don't know enough about it, so I'm not gonna bother explaining it, but don't worry, I'm sure some nerd will explain it in the comments down below. The other reason it doesn't work is because the zapper doesn't work on modern TVs either. This thing is tuned for CRTs and not LCDs or OLEDs, so that's why they include this guy. This one just doesn't feel as good. So once you got everything up and running, you can use the D-pad to adjust for the delay that matches your TV. It works best for me at two and a half, but every TV is different, so you'll want to keep adjusting it until you actually hit a duck. If you couldn't hit anything on any of the delay settings like me, you're probably going to want to change the settings on the blaster too. Yeah, it took me way too long to realize that. On the bottom of the blaster, there's a switch with three modes. For me, the ones on the ends either make you miss every shot or make you unstoppable. There's a god mode on it. You can shoot anywhere. You're always going to get it. Turn it all the way up. You can shoot anywhere. I can literally shoot myself in the foot and it works. Behind the back and through the legs. Okay. The last thing you should know about the blaster is the difference between you and the TV may make a difference. For me, I could do any distance the cord would allow me to go. It's still not going to be as great as a CRT would be, but it's definitely good enough for me to get rid of it. Dang it. Again, I was aiming at the right one and it killed the left one. Oh, also, this thing does play more than just Duck Hunt. I told you guys I mainly wanted this for Duck Hunt. Now that we're more than halfway through the video, let's talk about the actual system. You can use your original NES and SNES controllers with this, or you can use the controllers that come included. I genuinely love the packed in SNES controller. It feels better than my original controller, but that's probably because I need to get new membranes for it. Some of the buttons are just a little stiff. And I am incredibly happy that they based the NES controller off the dog bone one. It's not as good as the one I have, but that's just because the B feels a little eh. I think that could also be the membranes, but it's nice because you have the choice to use any controller that uses the original style ports, and they include one of each system's controller. That's the theme of this console. Options and everything's included. With the flip of a switch, you can swap between NES and SNES, NTSC and PAL, HDMI and AV, and 4x3, 
or if you have poor taste, 16 by 9. So many options. And it comes with everything you need to use all the options. That is a huge thumbs up from me. I don't have many games to test with it, but I haven't had any problems with this console while playing games. I did have a problem with the Hyperkin adapter being red, but I think that's just because it wasn't fully seated. But also, Hyperkin doesn't have the best track record of making quality products. Zero problems with the Classic 2 though. I think the games could definitely look better when you compare it to an emulator like the Nintendo Switch Online service or playing on a CRT, but honestly, it looks fine. It's not going to be crystal clear or have perfect colors, and it's got some old school quirks to the look, but it's okay. If you're that worried about the video quality, I don't know what to tell you. These consoles are from the 80s and 90s. It does output to a whopping 720p though. Yes, you can do all of this via an emulator, but some of us like to play our physical copies on our TVs, and I think this is a great way to do it. I can get rid of the CRT, put the original consoles on display, and feel good about it. This is also a great way to stream and record your old games. I know this because I used it in a stream I did on Twitch this week, and it went well. But what do you guys think? Let me know in those comments down below. I'm satisfied and it feels great to have the extra space, now that the CRT is in the garage, and I can still play my beloved Duck Hunt. I'll have both the Classic 2 console and the Hyperkin adapter linked down below the like button if you want to pick one up yourself. If you want to buy something from me, you can check out my website RetroRemaster.com to pick up an awesome shirt or a cool modded Game Boy. But if you can't support me financially and you still want to help, we can all just listen to Britney. So like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later guys. Old school 720, no, old school classic 2 HD, old school classic 2 H, no, old school classic 2 HD, this is so hard to, old school, old school, old school, old school classic 2, old school classic 2 HD 720p twin video game system, gray slash purple compatible with SNES slash, damn it, I can't even do this while reading the script.